standing up straight and balanced, raise both arms horizontally and clasp your elbows in opposite hands. Slightly lower the arms and the head. As you are raising your arms, rotate both arms externally and relax the forearms. The two hands should fall down slightly and passively. The forearms remain relaxed. Now slightly below the horizontal, bend your forearms to catch each elbow with the opposite hand. Tip your head slightly and push your arms forward without hunching your back. Exhale, breathe out, pulling in your stomach, and then inhale, fully inflating just the rib cage, not the stomach. This exercise aims to stretch the muscles between your two shoulder blades. Again, standing straight, raise both arms in external rotation with your palms up. Allow the two hands to fall inward. Slightly below the horizontal, bend your forearms to catch each elbow with the opposite hand. Tip your head slightly and push your arms forward without hunching your back. Stand tall and exhale, emptying out the air and pulling in your stomach. Holding your abdominal muscles tight, inhale to fill the upper rib cage and feel how the muscles between your shoulder blades stretch. Inhale and exhale six times, then release the arms. Repeat this exercise two more times, finishing with a complete exhalation. The Russian dance serves to stretch the interscapular muscles. These are the muscles between your scapulae, which often work too hard if the shoulder blades lack support. These muscles are working in helping you to hold your arms up to play, even in low positions, such as when you're playing the piano or the saxophone. They can become overdeveloped and even contracted and painful. I call them the scapular breaks. They need to be stretched and lengthened to do their work well. And the Russian dance serves to stretch these muscles and also to strengthen the supporting serratus anterior muscle.